Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video and show you my new toy. This is my, of course, my current service van. It's a Chevrolet Express. So I've been in the market for a new van and I've looked at all the different ones. And uh, of course, Chevrolet hadn't updated their van really uh, at all. It's still a good van, but uh, everybody's going to the transit style looking vans. And I drove a transit. Uh, liked it a lot but I'd also dro driven a Nissan and that's what I decided to go with just got it home here it's a 2500 when you upgrade to the V8 you get the tow hooks on the front and the trailer hitch receiver and wiring in the back uh, all of them have the same size wheels and brakes and whatnot it's a fairly large vehicle compared to the the, the original Chevrolet style vans. Um, fairly high step up. They give you little grab bars everywhere though. I got the technology package which gives you the uh, navigation, uh, Bluetooth, backup camera on the big screen down here. Uh, steering wheel controls for everything. This one also has the cruise control. Um, the 2500s, when you get them, you get a console in the center. The 1500s don't come with a console. You can't even add it, so I'm not sure what the reasoning behind that is. Um, the console is very deep. It's hard to see down in there. It's set up for hanging files if you need to do that, or you got this sweet little tray you can put stuff in. Down in the console here, you have a 110 volt outlet and also a uh, 12 volt plug. You turn the inverter on on the dash here. It's got a button. It says 150 and 400. Basically the difference is are you uh, in park? So if you're in park you get all 400 watts. If you come out of park I think it goes down to only 150 watts for whatever reason. But uh, Pretty neat little setup here. You can slide this lid forward if you're using a laptop. Uh, gives you, you know, keeps you from having to turn around so far. Got extra cup holders, and places down there to put stuff. Uh, little cubby holes in the dash. Good size glove box. The thing Nissan's done with their vans, which of course a lot of people call it ugly, which it, it isn't the prettiest thing, but they make the nose long like that, so you wind up with a pickup truck style cab up here. The engine's not stuck back under here. The engine's actually. out here where you can get to it to work on. If I can find a latch. Uh, I know it's got one. So you can see the you can see the back of the engine. Plenty of room to get to everything. It's just a, I think it's a 5.6 V8. I'm real stoked about that. It's got lots of power. Now over here on the passenger side, this seat, if you uh, fold it down, has a little work platform on it as well. So if you're typically riding around by yourself like me, you can leave this seat folded down. and gives you a place to kind of lay stuff out and work. I got the HVAC package. I hadn't even got back there to look at it yet. Let's go back and take a look at the back. Okay, as I said, when you get the 2500 and you upgrade to the V8, you automatically get the uh, trailer towing package on it. Uh, these little guys are magnets to uh, hold the doors open when you want to swing them all the way out of the way. Of course, I'll have to work on getting a wrap for it. But Let's open up and see what they did on the inside here. What? I asked for the HVAC package, not the PIMP package. I'm just messing with you. Um, the Nissan has a good deal where they actually give you an upfit when you buy one of these vans for your business. Uh, the typical upfit includes the partition and you know sh normal shelving. So you can put a little more money with it and get the HVAC package which will get you the tank rack, 
uh, all these nice drawers, uh, locking door, little bins, different things. So that's what I opted to do. I wanted a sliding door on the side. So many times when I pull up to a place, maybe pull around behind the house or even on some commercial jobs, when you pull up close to where you're going to be working, there'll be bushes or something. It's kind of hilly country down here. So a lot of times you'd end up having to shut the door to get around to get to the back of the van or get around the house. So that keeps it up nice and tight to the van and I think will be a little better for me as far as the way I work. Got three lights back here in the cargo area. I didn't get windows as you can tell. Uh, the windows on my current van. I actually had them wrapped over so that people couldn't see in them. You can't see out the back of these things anyway by the time you put a petition in here. This is called a literature rack. I don't know. Probably make more sense for me to be in the front so it may go away. But kind of starting with a blank slate here it's going to be hard to figure out where I want to put everything. Um, I'm sure it'll be great but right now it's kind of a a little bit, dreading it a little bit, trying to figure out where I want everything and getting it in there. But once it's in there, I'm sure it'll be nice. The 25, or the 2500 also gets you this little pocket in the back door here. It's something that's just not in the 1500s. I don't know, I guess, like I say, they put the same brakes and everything on these. So I guess if they're gonna make any price difference, they're gonna have to make it up somewhere else. So I guess they do it with all those little neat accessories. I don't know how much of this we can say. It's uh, built on a frame. Uh, the transits are actually a uh, unibody. Let me see if I can put this up over here. There we go. Uh, the Nissan actually has a box frame all the way back. Uh, a lot of people say that they're going to use that same frame on the next generation uh, Titan pickup, but well, I guess that remains to be seen. Uh, Got this neat little drawer here under the uh, driver's seat that you could pull out and put something in. My current vehicle, I have a printer between the seats mounted on a little uh, TV stand right between the seats. I like this console and I like the idea of being able to keep stuff down in it out of sight. So uh, what I may do, my current printer is like a $69 Hewlett Packard from Walmart. It's got uh, you know wireless printing from your iPhone. They make some uh, mobile printers that are much smaller and much more expensive but for a couple of hundred dollars you could get one that would easily fit down in this drawer or in the center console so i may do something like that got to figure out where to put everything that's going to be the hardest part now but i just wanted to give you a quick preview it's the nissan nv 2500 and i think this thing will probably well, that van over there is 15, 16 years old now. So this one should last me as long as I want to do HVAC if I don't do anything to break it. Thanks for watching.